Okay, welcome back. We're now on problem number 15, and I tried my best to draw this graph ahead of time. This is probably one of the more difficult for me with my, with my shaky hand. Let's see what this says. So this is point O for the origin right here. This is point P. This is point Q. And of course, this is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. And they say that this graph right here is y is equal to a minus x squared. And this curve right here is y is equal to x squared. y is equal to x squared. So they, the question says, in the figure above, the graphs of y equals x squared and y equals a minus x squared for some constant a. Oh, those are the graphs, right? If the length of pq is equal to 6, so pq is equal to 6, that length is equal to 6. What is the value of a? Well, it's interesting. If so the the first thing that should jump out at you is that these are completely symmetric graphs, right? They both they both are kind of mirror images around the y-axis, right? So uh, if if this length is 6, then the length of each of these then here is 3 and then here is 3, right? So what do we know about where these graphs intersect? Well, we know that they intersect at the points, at the point 3, and we know that they intersect as well at the point minus 3. Those are where those two graphs intersect, and that's a lot of information. And the way, once again, we came to this conclusion was that these are both symmetric around the y-axis. So if this, if this intersection is 6 wide, then it's 3 on each side, right? 3 to the positive side, 3 to the negative side. So it intersects at x equals 3 and x equals minus 3. And if we want to figure out the intersection, we can also just set these two equal to each other. y equals x squared, y equals a minus x squared. So we know that x squared must be equal to a minus, <laughs> what am I doing? a minus x squared, or add x squared to both sides of this equation, you get 2 x squared is equal to a, right? 2 x squared is equal to a. And, and this will be true at the two points, at the two x points at where these two graphs intersect. Well, what, what are the x points? We figured that out. It's 3 and minus 3, right? So if you put 3 in here, you get 2 times 3 squared is equal to a. That's 2 times 9 is equal to a. a is equal to 18. And if you put minus 3 in here, it'd be the same thing, because when you square it, the negative goes away. So a is 18. Not too bad. The, the key um, conclusion you have to make is that they intersect at the points positive and negative 3. And then you just set the equations equal to each other and solve for a. All right, let's do the next problem. Image clear image. Okay. Set x has x members, and set y has y members. Set Z contains all the members that are either in X or Y, with the exception of the K common members. OK, so this sounds like a Venn diagram. I don't know if you remember a Venn diagram, but I will show you what one is. So let's say that this is set X. That is set X. And let's, make, and let's say that this is set Y right here. Maybe that is set Y. It looks like a MasterCard logo. So this is set Y. This is set x. And it says, set z consists of all of the members that are either in set x or set y, with the exception of the k common members. So this is, you have, this is kind of the k common members, right? These are the, the things that overlap with set x and x, with set x and set y. So what does z consist of? Well, z is going to be, z is going to be, let me pick a dark color. z is going to be, if I do the fill tool, it's going to be that plus that, right? Without the k, right? Because it says z does not include the overlap. So what are those two things? So let's see. Let me go back to the paint tool. Do orange. It's going to be tacky with all the colors I'm using. So there's x members in all of x, right? X members, you know, in all of capital X. So how many members are in this blue region? So if there are x in the whole region, there's going to be x minus k in this blue region, right? I just subtracted out this k part. Similarly, 
y has y members, right? As the problem tells us, capital Y set has y lowercase y members. But if we take out these k that overlap, this is going to be y minus k. I'm just subtracting it out. And so z is this blue area plus this blue area. So it will be x minus k plus y minus k. And that is equal to, well, it's x plus y. And we have 2 minus k, so it's minus 2k. And that is choice d. Not too bad, huh? All right, I think we are all done with this practice test. Hopefully you found it vaguely useful. I'll see you soon.